It's Lisa from Grateful Me. Welcome to my channel and welcome to our 100 Envelope Savings Challenge video. Today I have some funny things to share with you. But first of all, let's get down to business. If you're new to this channel, um, every Monday I read stories to my cute grandbabies. This started because of COVID and that was how I could connect with them. Connect with them. And then every Friday I do a savings challenge video and then probably in the next couple weeks you'll see a budgeting video for me that will pop up on Wednesdays. But anyways, let's get down to this challenge. This challenge is very simple. You get a whole bunch of envelopes and you number them from 1 to 100. Each week you pick two envelopes. So let's just grab two in the back here. So for this week, I picked 82 and 36. So we, after you pick your envelopes, then you go ahead and you count out the proper amount of money that represents the number on each envelope, and then you stuff it. At the end of the year, you will have saved $5,050. That is a lot of money. I just want you to know though, it is so worth it. This challenge is very fun. It is a challenge. And sometimes you have to get very creative on how you earn your money. Um, I like to do cleaning jobs and side jobs and I do things on Amazon and on Etsy. But with my extra money, I go ahead and stuff my envelopes. So let's start with envelope <clears throat> number, I mean, number 36. I just need a 20. And I don't have any 10s today. I don't know how that happened. 20, 25, 30, 31, <clears throat> 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So there's $36. We'll go ahead and put that inside this envelope. Now, I don't know about you, but I didn't want to be tempted to take the money out of my envelopes. So I went to the dollar store and I got envelopes that have this little pill and stick so that I could seal it up. So there's number 36. Okay, the next number that we picked was 82. So let's stuff that. 20. Whoops, 40, 60, 80, 81, and 82. Last, uh, last week when we did our envelope stuffing, our total was over $1,800. So I am excited. I don't think we'll hit 2,000 this time, but by next time we will for sure. And that is a lot of money. So there's 82 and 36. Just a really quick note, if you're starting this challenge, you get to make your own rules, really. If you can only stuff one envelope a week, that is just fine. If you can only stuff one envelope every payday, that's fine. Or let's say you have a week where you get lots of money and you want to go ahead and stuff a whole bunch, that's fine as well. Just the, um, just be consistent, and with consistency and small steps, wonderful and great things happen. So there are those envelopes. So I'm going to be coloring in those numbers on my uh, savings tracker. Now I have the savings tracker on Etsy, and the reason why I made it is because I am very visual, and I like to see my progress. And it motivates me like crazy. You think I'm I'm nuts, but to color in one of these envelopes gives me great pleasure and a great sense of accomplishment. It's like making a to-do list and then crossing the item off the list. It's so satisfying. So that's what this chart is for me. Okay, let's go down here to, I gotta put my glasses on or I'm not even gonna be able to see. Okay, let's go over to 82. 
Okay, so here's a funny story I want to share with you. Um, this The beginning part is not funny, but when Texas was having all of their um, issues with pipes freezing and loss of power and all that, my husband and I were talking about that really preparing for emergencies is really important. You know, we have a large family, but more so we have now three little grandsons and we want to be able to provide for them in any time and in any situation in life. We want to make sure that their needs are met. So we were thinking, we were watching people go ahead and uh, boil their water so that they could have water to drink. They took snow and they um, took it from the yard and they boiled it. And a lot of people had bottled water, but those ran out quickly. So my husband and I, okay, I'm going to color number 36 now, thought it'd be a good idea for us to get some kind of water storage. Well, because our family is so big, my husband got online and he ordered this big water tank that you can put in your garage or in your house and you secure it to the wall. And he, it's a 500 gallon tank. So we ordered it and the other day it came and you guys, it is the biggest thing I've ever seen. I just started laughing almost uncontrollably. And my husband and I looked at each other and we're like, well, I guess we'll have enough water for a few days if we need it. So this weekend we're gonna clean out the garage and we're gonna go ahead and uh, secure that to the wall. I'll have to put a picture up on it. I think you might get a good chuckle out of that. So anyways, we I colored in 36 and I colored in number 82 as well. Can you see that right there? Yeah, number 82. So that is the end for our envelope challenge. Um, at the end of this little video, I will give you a total. So hang on to the end and, and see how, ma how much we have saved together on our little journey. One more item I like to do, I'm doing another savings challenge as well. And this is called Savings is Kind of a Pig Deal. And on my challenge, I have 100 piggy banks and each piggy bank is worth $5. So every time I put $5 into this envelope, I go ahead and I color in a piggy bank. And at the end, like I said, I'll have $500. Um, this is kind of a, a preview for my challenges for next year. So next year I wanna complete this with $5, $10, $20, and $50. And so, you know, if it was $10, I'd have $2,000. If it was, um, wait, did I just say that right? If it was $20 bill that I was counting each of these piggy banks for, I'd have $2,000. And then um, if I had 10, it'd be 1,000. And $5 is 500. Wow, I'm not sure if I'm making sense today. I think I need like some kind of caffeine or something. All right, so I'm gonna to add to this challenge today and here's the money I'm gonna add. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I would color one, two, three, four, five, six piggy banks. So I'll just hurry and do that. How has everyone's week been? Did anyone get their stimulus check? You know, I um, am very grateful for our stimulus check. That money is going to be used for part of our family's trip to Hawaii and also some of it for our basement. I didn't use it for my envelope challenge, but I did put it in the bank in uh, accounts that are for those two items that I talked about. So very grateful for that money. Um, and I'm sure that there's many other people out there that were grateful for it as well. All right, here's my piggies, almost colored in. You know, in life I try to find every day something to be grateful for and it is normally freezing cold this time of year where I live 
and it was so beautiful outside. And just being outside without a jacket on and feeling the sun on my face, oh my gosh, it was the best feeling ever. So that is what I'm really grateful for today. So after all these piggies, after I count all the piggies I filled in, I should have $100 in here. So let me open the envelope and let's kind of see what we've got in here. All right. So there's 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So I'm really excited about this as well. I haven't decided what I'm gonna use it for, but it's really fun saving, filling in my little piggies, and doing this. All right, so just to recap, our 100 envelope savings challenge, look at how many envelopes we have filled, and um, what a fun, fun challenge. So look to the end of the video, see the total amount that we've saved, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I hope you find wonderful things to be grateful for. Also, I'm very grateful for those who have subscribed to my channel, and uh, you just bring smiles to my face with your comments. Well, have a good day, and until next time, bye!